Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve view GIS in small bytes. Today we will cover ArcGIS Pro Overlay Analysis Part 2 Union, Symmetrical Difference, and Update. In this video, I will show you how to use three tools from the Overlay Analysis Union, Symmetrical Difference, and Update. These are important tools for editing features. In this exercise, we will work with these two polygons. In their attribute table, as you can see that this type field contains what kind of polygon they are. So we have a rectangle and a circle. All three tools that we are going to discuss today, union, symmetrical difference and update, all three are part of the overlay analysis. We will start with union. This tool computes a geometric union of the input feature. In the input feature, you can actually add all your polygons as you wish. Then name your output and click run. This is our result of union. You can see that it has kept all the geometry. In the attribute table, there are three polygons. The geometry with the circle attribute has the circle except the overlapping part. Same with the geometry of the rectangle attribute. Finally, the polygon that has both circle and rectangle attribute defines the overlapping area. This was union. Next, we are going to discuss symmetrical difference. In symmetrical difference, our input features will be the circle. The update feature will be the rectangle. In this tool, Features or portions of features that do not overlap will be written to the output feature class. Let's hit run and in the attribute table you can see it has only two polygons. Each of them contains the original attribute. So the circle has everything of the original circle except the overlapping part and that's true for the rectangle as well. Finally, we are going to discuss update. This tool computes the geometric intersection of the input features and update features. The attributes and geometry of the input features are updated by the update feature in the output feature class. We will do two examples for this. In the first one, circle will be our input feature and the rectangle will be our update features. Here is the result of our first example, where circle was the input feature. So we can see in the attribute table that there are only two polygons. The circle one has lost the overlap area, but the rectangle, which we used for update features, has kept everything. In our second example, we are just going to invert these two. This is the result and the attribute table of the second example. Now, as we have made the circle our update feature, rectangle has lost the overlapping area, but the circle has kept everything. To recap, we saw how three different overlay analysis tools work. We also discussed how they affect the geometry as well as the attributes of the input data. I think this is a great stopping point. This has been Tessel Bytes, where we serve view GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.